All right, here we're solving for x. So the first thing we need to do is combine our like terms. So on this side, we have a 4x and we have a negative 2x. So when I combine that, a 4x and a negative 2x gives me a positive 2x. I still have minus 5 equals. On this side, I have a positive 4 and a positive 3 that I can combine. So 4 plus 3, I get 7. I still have my positive 6x. Now my next thing is to get my x's together on one side. What I like to do is keep my x's positive if possible. So I'm going to move my 2x. Now to move it, you have to do the opposite of what it is. Right now I have a positive 2x. So for me to move it, I'm going to subtract 2x. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So this side it cancels. I'm left with negative 5 equals 7. Now positive 6x minus a 2x is a positive 4x. Okay. Then again, I need to get my x's by itself, so I need to move this 7. It's a positive 7, so for me to move it, I'm going to subtract 7. A negative 5 and a negative 7 gives me a negative 12. I still have, this is gone, I still have my 4x. And then I need to get my x by itself again. So I need to get rid of this 4. Right now it's 4 times x, so the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. Therefore, a negative 12 divided by a positive 4 is going to be a negative 3. And there's our final answer.